Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some of the major changes that will be made in GTA 6 that will differ quite a lot compared to what we have right now with GTA 5. Now, GTA 6 is going to contain improvements on pretty much every single front, however, there are some changes that you're going to notice right away as soon as you start playing, and those are the ones that we're going to be discussing in today's video. Now, we got a ton of really awesome and exciting information to discuss today, but first off, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and wrap out with the actual video. Now, today's shout out goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as The Curious Cubs. Now, if you're a parent of a young child, this YouTube channel is the perfect place for you. They offer a variety of educational YouTube videos and encourage kids to use their imagination and creativity. Their videos are designed to be interactive, engaging, age-appropriate, and to help kids learn and grow in a fun and exciting way. And in addition to their awesome videos on YouTube, they also have a great online store where they offer a wide selection of books, toys, clothing, worksheets, and coloring books. So if you're a parent of a young child, I recommend that you click the first link in the description down below to check out The Curious Cubs on YouTube and subscribe to their channel for all sorts of awesome content that is perfect for your child. And also check out the link in the description to their online store and see their incredible selection of products today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, GTA 6 is going to contain improvements on pretty much every single front compared to GTA 5. However, one of the biggest areas that we're going to notice improvements right away as soon as we start playing is in the map of GTA 6. Now, the map and the environment of any open world game, and especially a GTA game, are super important because that is pretty much the baseline and the groundwork of everything that GTA is built on top of. One of the things that Rockstar is allegedly adding into GTA 6, which I think a lot of people are going to appreciate, is a lot more buildings are going to have custom interiors which you can enter. Now, in GTA 5, Rockstar definitely made some improvements over GTA 4, and they added more buildings that can be entered, however, a majority of the buildings in the game are just buildings, and they cannot actually be entered, and as soon as you go up to the door, there's not much you can do. Now, in GTA 6, it seems like that most buildings will have custom interiors that you can go inside, however, there will still be quite a few that will not be able to be entered. So it's definitely going to be an improvement over GTA 5, and it should make the game a lot more realistic, and also a lot better for GTA Online. So overall, I think this is a great improvement for the map, and I cannot wait to see what Rockstar has been working on all of this time. Now, in addition to the environment of GTA 6, Rockstar is also going to be making improvements to the physics of GTA 6 as well. Now, when Rockstar released GTA 5, a lot of players were surprised that the physics in the game were a lot different than GTA 4. If you played GTA 4, you would know that the physics in that game are a lot looser and are a lot more realistic than GTA 5, which in GTA 5, it's more of an arcade style that may not be as realistic, but is arguably funner to play with. Now, while this has not been confirmed just yet, it seems like Rockstar is going to be finding kind of a middle ground between the physics of GTA 4 and GTA 5, inside GTA 6. So ideally, they want to keep the fun arcade style of GTA 5, but also add some realism aspects from GTA 4 to kind of make the perfect mix of physics for driving. In terms of the other physics for walking, running, parkour, all of that stuff, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of improvements as well, but at the moment, we don't have any specific details to go off of. 
Now, another area where Rockstar has allegedly been spending a ton of time and money into is the AI for the NPCs in the game, specifically NPCs that are driving and just regular NPCs on the street. Now, the NPCs in GTA 5 didn't really get that much of an improvement over GTA 4, and it seems like Rockstar is going to be making that up in GTA 6. According to what we know so far, it seems like the NPCs in the game are just going to be a ton more realistic, especially when it comes to driving. Now, right now, the way GTA 5 and pretty much every other game works is that all of the cars in the game are essentially on a virtual train track and they go around the map in a predetermined path. Now, according to some rumors, it seems like Rockstar will be adding some simple AI into GTA 6, which allows the cars to be a little bit more flexible instead of just driving on that singular railroad that is pre-mapped. So for example, cars may swerve a little bit between lanes, just like humans do in real life, and it will overall make the game a ton more realistic. In addition, if you knock a car off of the road, there's going to be a better chance that that person will find a way to get back on the road when in GTA 5, usually the NPC just exits the car and runs away. So little things like that are going to make the game a ton more realistic, and I'm sure Rockstar is also going to add some insane features to the NPCs that are just walking around. For example, in GTA 4, there is a really awesome detail of when it starts raining in the game, some of the NPCs pull out an umbrella and continue walking, while the others that don't have an umbrella run to get cover from the rain. So it seems like Rockstar is going to be adding a ton of improvements to the NPCs in GTA 6, because that is an area that they didn't really do much with in GTA 5. Now, in addition to all of that, another major element that Rockstar is likely going to be adding that will really change the way that you play a GTA game is adding a new dialogue system between NPCs and your character. Now, this is something that was debuted in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I personally really love it, and it makes the game so much more fun to play, and it seems like Rockstar will be taking a similar system and incorporating it into GTA 6. So by doing this, you're going to be able to go up to any NPC in the game, and you're going to be able to interact with them both in a positive or negative way. So those are some of the big improvements that you're likely going to notice right away as soon as you load into GTA 6 for the very first time. Now there are of course going to be way more improvements than what we discussed in this video, and I cannot wait to see when Rockstar will finally give us our first look at GTA 6 and give us a hint of what they've been working on all of these years, but until then, that is pretty much the information that we have at the moment. But as always, I do recommend keeping an eye on the Rockstar Games social media, the Rockstar Games Newswire, and of course, this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding all of this. But I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below. What are some things that you want to see improved in GTA 6 that you're currently not a fan of in GTA 5? Myself personally, I definitely want to get more detailed building interiors, which seems like is going to happen, which I am really excited for. After playing Red Dead Redemption 2, which is Rockstar's newest game from 2018, there is a massive difference in terms of how many building interiors you can enter compared to GTA 5, and I really want to see Rockstar implement something similar to that in GTA 6. But let me know in those comments down below what you want to see improved yourself. But either way, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you have not already with the notifications on it so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with yet another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.